Bus and Coach Centre are currently taking delivery of the whole batch of the 2015 Volvo BTL Wright Bus Gemini 3 examples. This particular vehicle is numerically the first one in the batch, 5101. It's only been out of service around two weeks since the closure of Bournemouth Transport, trading as yellow buses. In terms of panel damage on the vehicle, it is all relatively straight to some slight issue with the add blue filler door there a little bit of corrosion around the wheel arch near side panels are all straight no damage to the roof line just have a tree bar fitted few paint scuffs but no uh, major damage there as you'd expect from a second hand vehicle into the rear of the vehicle it's all tidy let's have a high level brake light fitted right at the very top there vehicle also features automatic engine shut off if left idling for more than five minutes. Height wise this vehicle is 14 foot 6. Moving to the interior of the vehicle, in terms of accessibility, the suspension does lower and it is fitted with a recent PSV Transport Systems manual fold out ramp, which as you can see there has a limit of 300 kg. Cab the vehicle. Chapman seat in driver's seat. And over DG3 control unit. CCTV is fitted. Controls for interior lighting are above the driver's head, as is a HEVAC unit for Demister. And you have a standard dashboard layout with the headlights and hazards on the left and indicators. On the right hand side you have the master switch and suspension controls and the ZF gearbox controller which is a ZF Ecolife 6AP1003B. can tilt the dashboard by the pedal down there. Cab space in the Gemini 3 isn't too bad, but the seat doesn't tend to go back too far. So if you're a taller driver, you might find a bit of a struggle, but uh, other than that, it's quite 
quite a comfortable area. Visibility is good. Then moving to the lower saloon. with will affect flooring. Disabled seats are fitted with armrests. Decent size base for the wheelchair. And you also have a screen for the CCTV. Moving upstairs. In tidy condition. The e leather seating has worn really well for seven years' use. access to the destination gear in terms of emergency exits on the vehicle you have the traditional door at the offside rear the vehicle is also fitted with a safety punch system on two lower deck windows the emergency door. On the upper deck you have the safety punch system, one on the off side one at the rear of the vehicle and you have two on the near side Seating capacity wise, you have 75 seated, 23 standing, 72 seated, 26 standing, or 72 and 24 with one wheelchair. This vehicle is currently for sale with the Bus and Coach Centre in Oxford. This particular vehicle has literally just arrived from storage has only been out of service a couple of weeks. It has the Volvo B5 TL engine, which is 240 brake horsepower and 5.1 litres. Volvo say that this engine delivers 10% fuel saving over the B9 TL, which it replaced. The vehicle is fitted with 275 70R 22.5 tyres and the ones on this particular vehicle are Bridgestones, UAP 
001s. This former yellow buses example is limited to 42 miles an hour. It's fairly smooth through the gears. Acceleration to 30 miles an hour is very smooth. It's not as quick as a B9 because obviously it's a smaller engine, but it's uh, adequate for a city bus.
in conclusion of this test drive of the Volvo B5 TL Right Bus Gemini 3. We've been out with this vehicle for about an hour and a half around the roads of Oxfordshire. In terms of driver ergonomics, it's very good. It makes a good city bus. Uh, this vehicle obviously is limited to 42 miles an hour, but pickup is fairly good, handles well, and the passengers do benefit from a very comfortable interior, which is high specification.